and welcome back to my channel it's your girl just naughty and today i'm gonna be showing you guys how i clean my brushes and my combs for those of you that do not know i do do a lot of hair and that means that my combs and brushes and everything that i use to do here with they're dirty they're filled with bacteria and dirt by the end of the month so i do have to wash these things about twice a month and if i need them a little bit sooner I'll wash every week. Now I hope I don't catch you guys off guard because I do have a, a huge amount of combs and brushes and anything dealing with hair. I have a huge amount of them, but today we're only gonna be washing the ones that's dirty. For those of you that only wash your combs and brushes by um, rinsing it underneath the, the sink, I'm gonna let y'all know right now, that ain't clean. That's not clean. As I mentioned earlier, there's bacteria, there's dirt. There's a whole bunch of stuff in these brushes and combs, so we gotta clean it, especially if we're gonna put it in the next person's head, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna bring you guys to my stash. Okay, so this is my little stash, you guys. Um, on the left side is my dirty combs, and on the right side it's my clean ones. As you guys can tell, I'm down to my last. I don't really need the shower combs or anything like that. I really need these tail combs. So I'm gonna have to wash everything over here, and um, these are fine. I do store, well let me open this up a little bit. I do store my hair products in this little organizer thing. It helps me get to all of these things easier. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, these combs and brushes are filled with dirt, hair, and products. So I'm gonna try my best to remove as much as I can by hand before I let it soak in water. When it comes to the brushes, if you wanna remove all the gunk that's on it, it's always best to grab a rat tail comb and slide it through the holes of the, well, the bristles of the brushes. I like to go in from left to right, right to left, and then from bottom to top, top to bottom. So I make sure I hit all the sides. When doing this, you are gonna have to put a little bit of pressure when you're going through the holes and lifting because the hair that is on this brush do build up and tangle to where the hair is overlapping each other. After I'm done going through the holes, I'm gonna use that very same comb to comb out the hair that I just loosened up. So this is the build up from this brush. This is what you get if you don't comb out the hair or clean it. Um, the strands of hair are just gonna keep piling up until you do remove it. So this is as clean as I could get it by hand. Um, of course, I didn't get everything, but I am gonna let everything soak and sit in water so that the water and the soap can help lift whatever dirt or hair is still stuck on the brush. Now this brush is a little bit more lintier than the other one, but I'm still following the same routine as I did the previous brush. Um, I'm gonna do the same thing from the front to the back. Now we're gonna go ahead and get started with the soaking. I'm gonna use my dish soap and pour it all over all of my brushes and combs. You can use any kind of dish soap. I just so happen to have Ajax in hand, but whether you use Dawn or a cheap brand, it's still gonna work the same. And it also doesn't matter how much soap you use. I like to see suds. So of course I did put more than I was supposed to. I did use warm water with um, my soap, the warm water definitely helps to penetrate whatever is on the brush, the comb, and I let everything soak for about 30 minutes. After the brush is done soaking, I'm not doing anything special. I'm actually gonna follow the same routine that I did initially before I soaked it, just to get whatever was left off. Now that I'm done with the bristles, I'm gonna go ahead and show the handle and the rim some love. When you do hold it after soaking, it does feel kind of grimy. So there is some extra product that's on that as well. I'm gonna use the brush just to scrub all that away. I don't know if you guys can see that extra buildup on the side of the brush, but that's the part that I'm scrubbing when I get near the bristles.
It is very important that you make sure that your stylist is putting a clean comb or a brush to your scalp because you do not want whatever was left over from the previous person on your scalp. All of that can create scalp fungus, scalp irritation, and a whole bunch of other problems that you guys do not want. Picture all of this gunk on your scalp just sitting there until wash day. And if you're not sure if they're using anything clean, then bring your own. It doesn't hurt to bring your own comb. It doesn't hurt to bring your own brush or product because you do not know what they're using on your head. The same thing that I did with the previous brush is the same thing that I'm gonna do with this brush. I'm gonna go through each side and then I'm gonna comb off the loose hair and give it a good rinse. Wide tooth combs are one of the easiest things to clean. All I'm gonna do is go through each of the holes with my brush and give it a little scrub and then I'll be done. The rat tail comb is also pretty easy. I'm going to pretty much follow the same steps that I took um, when I was doing the wide tooth comb. Now I know a lot of us like to do our edges and I'm not really sure if any of you have ever cleaned your edge brush before or not, but these edge brushes, they get caked up with whatever product that we're using. This is not a good look and most of us will keep using our edge brush even after we see all the product build up. But it's important that we clean this, like this looks a mess <laughs> and pretty nasty if you ask me. Because our edge brushes are pretty small, we are gonna have to wash that more than we do a regular brush, but I am gonna wash it the same way even though the bristles are small. Now that I'm done washing all of my brushes and combs, I'm gonna go ahead and put them back inside the water to give them a final rinse. This next step is very important when keeping up with the cleanliness of your brushes and combs. I know a lot of us are pretty quick when it comes to drying our brushes and combs, but you have to make sure that your brushes and combs are entirely dried. If not, then there will be mold on your brushes due to the brush still being damp. This last step is optional, but after everything is thoroughly dried, I like to spray alcohol on both sides of my hair supplies. This helps kill any extra bacteria or germs that I did not wash away. Once again, it is optional, and if you do decide to do this, you do want to make sure everything is thoroughly dry before you put it up.
All right, you guys, so I'm done washing my combs and all of my brushes. Um, normally, this is what I go through every time that I have to wash those. And you guys, those aren't the only things that I have to wash. Like, I also have to wash the... The, the Gorilla Clips. The Gorilla Clips? I also have to wash the alligator clips. I have to wash my crochet needles. I have to wash everything. So I, I literally do a whole lot of cleaning when it comes to my my hair tools and equipment. Um, but yeah. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, leave it down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.